Hello, this is Hakka Bean, and today I'm tumbling again. Before going on our slash tumbler, I'm tumbling again. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this so we can immediately start tumbling and regretting our decisions. We. Oh, whoops. My bad. I don't know why, but this looks like I'm on an operations and table receiving surgery from cats. Frank, I mean, this cat will. Meow. God damn it, Frank, this isn't a game. When growing up, me and my dad and my brother are playing a game at Home Depot called don't let me see you while I shop. The rules were that I had to follow my dad around a huge Home Depot and but be out of sight the whole time. The game was extremely fun for me, if for some reason. We also called it the Super Spy Game, and extremely useful for my dad. And when later on, I realized I could just wander off and not necessarily follow him around and still win. Anyway, later on, I... Oh, yeah. This is the story of how I used to go directly into the Home Depot light section and just immediately dissociate like I entered a fairy wonderland for hours on end. In short... Oh, my goodness. That does look like a fairy wonderland. I'd hang, hang, hang around there. Whoa, those are pretty lights. Look at them all. Me. Whoa. Childhood truly is a special time. It really is. Isn't it sad that we're all adults now? Analog sci fi tech, my beloved. It's about the buttons, it's about the switches. If you can't talk, like, what's the point? Post that people who sim make. Honestly, though, you're right. I might be biased, but you are absolutely correct. It needs buttons, it needs switches. I need my levers. Where the heck are my click clacks? <sighs> Trader gets painted stone to save thirty six million dollars of copper. What? <laughs> Answer me this, atheist. If God never existed, then whose heavenly staircase did I march up? Whose heavenly host did I best in battle? And whose severed head do I keep still in my basement? Bro, that was your landlord. What is a landlord if not a god? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is the Snowflake Conservative. Let's go. Can you please stop dunking on Elon? He's autistic. That's the reason he acts weird. You are bullying an autistic person. I'm sorry, but... I don't care if he is or isn't autistic. Elon is a piece of crap. Nothing can excuse you from... Literally ruining something that everyone loves. Nothing. Or being a piece of crap. Imagine if someone were uh, to make the, the same argument about Alt oh, Hitler. That's pretty much what, what I'm getting at here. It's a special interest underpaying his employees. Hyperfixing on exploiting children and call about odd minds. Elon Musk. Screw that guy. Anyway. Hmm. 
I'm sure the Chozo could have done some next level of bomb surgery if she wanted him to. But you know Sam is Aaron. The biggest badass in the galaxy wouldn't have wanted that. She's got that three species DNA cocktail type alien meat. Her thing is on a level we can't even imagine. Drawing her without even a hint of bulge is cowardice to me. Agreed, Nintendo. You can't have a game where the main and female character is going around hunting for E and then try and pretend that they are cis. You can't do that. <laughs> 1998, the teens are calling everything gay. 2008, teens aren't sure they should be, they should really be calling everything gay. 2018, the teens are calling everything gay again, but in a positive way this time. Hmm. <clears throat> Young man, this will need to look down. I said, young man, no, you please don't look down. I said, young man, cast your gaze not upon the dread rift of cosmic terrors. <sighs> it's fun to stay in sublime ignorance. It's fun to stay in sublime ignorance. This just got really scary. I think it was a song at one time. That's why I kind of started singing it. <clears throat> I believe that the funniest thing you can do when you have two magical creatures who are conceptually opposites, like an angel and a devil, an elf and a dwarf, or a vampire and a werewolf, fall in love and have kids, is so have their opposing traits cancel each other out, so that their resulting hybrid offspring ends up being literally just some guy. Bonus points if they have family photos that look like this. <laughs> My parents are a little bit odd in comparison to me. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Oh no. Oh no. We have to open a new tab for this one. Let's go. Let's get right into it. You know, I bet Light Yaw could be despised people who piss the urinal directly next to him so much. I just but knew he couldn't kill him because it wasn't a crime. So instead, he always had a small scrap of the death note in his back pocket to touch him with. So after they finish their business, they zip up, turn around, and see Ryuk's dog face just staring back at him. And then Ryuk is just like, hey man, look. And Ori's just like, what the fuck is that? And Light I was just like, huh? What are you talking about? Of course, Light and Ryuk are both in on it. They made this agreement super early on, and Ryuk gets an apple every time he does it. Anyways, Ryuk then says to the guy, I said something like, I'm the piss lord of this bathroom. I come out whenever guys just whipped it and out recklessly next to another man. And dude it runs out the bathroom screaming. <clears throat> How to share this note I woke up and wrote in the dead of night. When they set up the uh, cameras in Light's house, it would have been really funny if Ryuk still ate apples and moved objects around and Light talked to him. The house was haunted, but maybe not related to the killing, so if they uh, could come pull off the at deception. Just a completely separate phenomenon that makes Light look suspicious, but not relevant to finding the serial killer. He is touching these men who come and stand next to him at the urinals, huh? Everybody's saying, yeah, but Light doesn't have a sense of humor. It's right, but only partially. 
Can you do this with full sincerity? It doesn't get how it would be funny in the slightest. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's L. I've heard rumors of a strange piss lord who haunts this bathroom. Light. Dramatic internal. L takes the urinal on next to light. Light. Dramatic internal dialogue. Why would he take the urinal next to mine? If he believes it, well, summon the piss lord. Unless he has figured out that cures. My uh, supernatural abilities must be the result of a inigami. In which case, I must plot my next move very carefully. If I touch him with the death belt so he could see Ryuk, then if I confirm his theory and increase the suspicion of myself. But if I don't, you would know that the piss lawyer treat him differently. And that will also increase the suspicion of myself. Damn it, Al, you hold all the cards this time. Death note. This is it. This is a post that kills me every time I read it. I don't know how many times I've looked up Ryuk Dogface Light Yagami Yurdle Cry or some variation of this in hopes of finding this, the phrase they zip up, turn around, and see Ryuk Dogface and start back to them has to be the funniest shit I've ever read in my life. But no, yeah, Elfie's right. Death Note. Oh my god, post so oh, oh fame. Post show to Iros. My mother. I have related the anniversary to this. Here's some of my favorite tags and replies. That post was amazing. Death Note. You're no crime edition. Oh. Another one of these. <gasps> that was amazing though. <clears throat> the came back rope wow okay the came back rock trope except like they didn't like this mad scientist's wife died and so he said necromancy brought her back and she came back and it all worked like she came back exactly the, the same as she was before, with literally no difference. But the scientist guy is like, Oh no, what have I done? She's different now. She came back wrong. And she's just like chilling, reading a book, cooking dinner. She's just so normal, but in the guy's body, he's like, Oh, she's so weird. But she's just normal. Preview tags from so many of the kids. She came back just regular, but his journey to resurrecting her changed him to such a degree that even his close his intimacies are now foreign to him. Sorry, dude. No, it's a joke, yo, get it, it's not that deep! While she was dead, he put his memory of her on such a high pedestal that she could never live up to it alive. Alternatively, She came back perfectly fine, but he thinks she came back wrong because the tragic reality is that he never actually knew his wife. I'm going insane, that's my post! It's your post and you adjourned to post to get changed it to such a degree that even its closest intimacies are now foreign to you. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Full freaking circle. Love that. That was beautiful. I could never be in the army. What if my stomach hurt? What if my stomach hurt and they made us run around? I would kill myself. Can't even, but here goes. First, please, for God, out in country, never join up. Second, after the first 300 first trips and 300 sit-ups on the first day, you'll forget about your tummy. Third, stop swallowing after sucking up your bed, Bunky, and the sour tummy won't have it and to begin with. Love that and, and, and your butt like a sailor. 
Thank you for your service. I've seen this reposted everywhere from iPhone to Reddit to TikTok, and I never include the best part. Have that in your butt like a sailor. I can't say the actual words. I probably should even and finish that and send it in the second post. I hate this. I really think diction there this history of angels throughout history, religion, and culture. And this guy is definitely my favorite so far. So a Lemuel. Be not afraid. Oh my goodness, it's just Salami. I loved it. Hmm. You behead, Mary Antoinette! You chop her, her head like the guillotine! Oh, oh, chaos for France! Chaos for France for what thousand years! <laughs> I love the cats. Ooh. Talking to someone to save interests you and realizing they're a casual enjoyer. But you're deranged. Me with everything liminal. God dang. I even dived into Gridcore and Dreamcore. It's so freaking and, and crazy. Anyway, one time a casual hockey fan tried to convey his experience to me from the other side as it's like, okay, imagine like you like donuts and you make it a guy who always likes donuts. You're like, hey, cool, we both like donuts. But this guy. His house, he built his house out of donuts. So now when I trip into a new family, and, and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm building this house out of donuts. You know what? Yeah, that's me. Dutch artist, Red Mirror or er, er, how extra? Oh, because Pat and Toad are written and pronounced the same way in Dutch. Pad and Pad, and Pad and Pod, a road of toads. I trode on the Toad Road. <laughs> I walk a lonely Toad, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know why it croaks, but it's home to me, and I walk on toads. Oh my goodness. Anyone else remember this? It just popped into my head just now. Some sort of elaborate Scooby-Doo Undertale thing. I actually don't know this one. Baby girl, I'm on all the spectrums. Odd is <laughs> that's where I am. LGBT plus, yep. Visible light, I don't know. Yeah, you understand. I don't know if I'm on the visible light spectrum. I think I like to say invisible. Don't trust warning you. Morning you is a jerk. Morning you would sell your loved ones if you got them five extra minutes of sleep. Maybe morning, he wouldn't be such a dick if that flaky bitch evening me had gone to bed instead of tumbling, tumbling till butts o'clock in the morning. Well, evening me might have fallen asleep at a reasonable hour if that dumbass afternoon me hadn't laid it down for a little nap that lasted four hours. What? 
Clark in his early 20s, having found, adventure, uh, having found adventures of self-discovery with the woman who will eventually become his wife. Bruce in his early 20s, getting the shit kicked out of him by Crazy Ninja somewhere in Central Africa. Whoops, wrong continent. Getting the shit kicked out of him by Crazy Ninja somewhere in Central Asia. Aren't ninjas a Japanese thing? Maybe not. He was a boy. She was a girl. I am a sentient octopus. This was funnier in my head. Then you must be in hysterics. You was a punk. She did ballet. I have eight prehensile legs. <laughs> In my opinion, the one thing that bothers me about the Isabel and Doom guy were the original of Bybeheimer jokes that are occasionally popping up is that if he was real, Doom Guy would have absolutely broken all of Oppenheimer's bones for his involvement in developing the atomic egg bomb. Like, did we all forget why he got sent to Mars in the first place? The story so far you're a space marine, one of Earth's toughest, hardened in combat, and trained for action. Three years ago, you was also a superior officer for ordering his soldiers to hire upon civilians. He and his body, e e cast were shipped to Pearl Harbor, while you were transferred to Mars, home of the Union Aerospace Ace Corporation. Oh, whoops. <sighs> I don't know this person that they keep on referencing, but okay. Scientists find 16 ultra black fish species that absorb 99.9% .9 of light. It's illegal for Anish Kapoor to look at this fish. You are not allowed to look at this fish on behalf of Anish Kapoor. By looking at this fish, you certify that you are not Anish Kapoor, you are not an associate of Anish Kapoor, and you are not planning to describe this fish later to Anish Kapoor or an associate of Anish Kapoor. Who is Anish Kapoor? Please explain in the comments. I don't know who this person is. The absolute freaking height of comedy is scientists and scholars getting into fights over incredibly niche subjects. The uh, idea of nerds and lab coats and suits getting close to blows over something that only like 20 people care about is so funny. The Milton scholars screamed and argued about how the server was supposed to move before Harry crawled on its belly. Dr. Matthews, a rage of Dr. Goldstein and could believe that the servant bounced around on the correlate of its tail, flipped over the conference table. Satan is not a freaking pogo stick, he howled. This is what real comedy looks like. That is a funny sentence. I have once again think about the fact that they used so much fl fake blood on Hannibal that mold started growing on the bottom of the sets. Like, that means something, right? Something, something, this place is rotting from the weight of the blood spilled here, etc, etc. I was thinking something, OSHA, something, something, OSHA violation, but I like that poetic thing better. So do I. Samurai. I said my I sword was a tool of justice, not used in anger, not used for 
or vengeance, but now, now I'm not so sure. And besides, this isn't my sword. <laughs> I don't care if that one ant, ant didn't write, didn't actually write hot damn on a bunch of index cards. It's still a funny story. <clears throat> I really can't emphasize enough how much I don't care if the anecdotes you pulled tell on here are true. We are sitting around a campfire telling tall tales, embellishments, and flights of fancy are part of the fun. When the man at the bait shop tells you he almost caught a bat as this big, you don't write a call out post accusing him of gaslighting. If you got like a hundred kilo of bag of glitter and opened it up and left it in the path of a tornado, I think that would be interesting. I don't care about ecological damage right away. I do. One hundred kilo of a um, bag of seaweed base glitter. <laughs> I don't. 100 kilogram bag of enriched uranium base glitter. Wait, isn't uranium denser than lead? How? Having 100 kilogram bag of uranium MB. <laughs> My goodness. Thyroid, just kill me. <laughs> no. But steel is heavier than and feathers. They are bullying this person. What having what a one hundred kilogram bag of e <laughs> Oh my goodness. But your radio is heavier than seaweed. Oh my goodness. The pain. <sighs> <clears throat> Nobody on this site is ever, ever going to top running a vlog dedicated entirely to posting cute pics of sweet old dogs in a shelter for a year and gradually becoming one of the most recognized blogs on the website. Then without warning, dropping, I just wanted to get dicked down again. With zero explanation and abandoning the blog, not leaving it, not explaining anything, just leaving the whole thing as a monument. Fucking flawless pointing. Literally the best of all time. Don't forget the absolute cherry on top. After I was reaching out to the actual dog shelter to tell them their uh, Tumblr account got hacked. Only for them to say, we've never had a Tumblr account. Corn dogs are named for their traditional meat, as unicorns are now extinct. They can only be referred to as corn dogs, and not unicorn dogs, as they were prior to 2009. This is actually a common misconception. While unicorn dog did exist in the most of the following the extinction of unicorns in 2009, the corn dog is not a rebranding of the unicorn dog. The corn dog was created in 2003 by James H. Corn, though it remained a relatively unpopular Ohio treat until 2010 when Mr. Corn took the opportunity left by unicorn dog's exit from the market to take over the niche. Hmm. Oh, yeah, these are just people who make up facts. There's this facts I just made up and counter facts I just made up. Just in case you thought they actually believed what they were saying. <sighs> the
The fact that pro anarchy arguments have degenerated over the past few centuries from the king rules by divine right and is accountable to nobody but God to um the royals generate a lot of income from tourists will never stop being funny to me. The monarch's bad, but the castles oh oh the castles are positively lush with rats. Tongue emoji. Oh god, I was scared. Delete this account immediately. Oh my goodness, I just read their usernames. It's Rat Liker and Rat Licker. They want to lick rats. I I think the joke is pretty self explanatory. <sighs> I know this is going to make me sound pretensions, but I have to get off my chest. I feel an unimaginable rage when someone posts a picture that's like, this picture looks like a Renaissance. Anything, lol. When the photo clearly has the lights, colors, and composition of a Baroque or Romantic painting. There are differences in these styles, and those differences are important. Labeling every classical looking painting as Renaissance is annoying and upsetting to me. Anytime I come across one of those posts, I have to put down my phone and go take a walk because they make me so mad. And in case you're are curious, here's what I mean. Renaissance, distinct lines, stability, and the individual man. Barack, bold, chaotic, dramatic, romantic, romanticized the simple, hardworking life. Do you see the difference? Ophi is a vampire who painted works in all of these times. And I think that's enough for today. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Or when I... Yeah, I guess tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!